so i think i have done uh, many things like that i'll just do this uh, demonstration and leave it to you uh, to analyze this is a cycle wheel and there's a this uh, a cloth tied to it uh, this right hand i will be leaving what will happen to this disc it will tilt why is this is this a rotation where is the axis of rotation it's going in these circles right so the axis of rotation is this way it is at rest i am just leaving at this instant just after leaving okay the angular velocity is zero it is at rest and after that it picks up a, an, an angular velocity and the direction of angular velocity is this way so there must be some torque if it is picking up angular velocity that means there is an angular acceleration so there must be a torque where are the external forces i will i have left this right hand remember where are the external forces string upward gravity. gravity downward correct now where do i take the torque at the center or at this point wherever you say what the center everyone likes center <laughs> okay so the torque of mg will be zero because torque is the force is applied at the origin itself but then this t this tension this force by this string force by this cloth that is here uh, tell me where the force is applied put the finger uh, right put the finger where it is applied so it's applied upwards from uh, no but my system is this wheel yeah. so that external force has to be on some point of this wheel it's applied on this point correct this point. on this point right so where is the position vector r put your put your pen ha ah, right very good put your pen what is the direction of yeah you put your pen in the direction of r this is r you just put it there so now you can see the position vector r you can see the force which is upward tell me where is r cross f what direction towards u that means this is the direction of torque and see it is it picks up angular excel angular velocity in this direction if it is going this way from your side it is anti clockwise the angular velocity is towards you from zero angular velocity it is picking up velocity angular velocity in your direction perfectly uh, normal yeah. uh, your torque was in uh, in this horizontal direction towards you and this torque produced this angular acceleration and angular velocity was picked up in the same direction right so this simple falling of this can be taken as a good example of doing all this analysis of torque and direction of the torque r cross f angular velocity direction angular acceleration everything is there in just falling this from this way to that way now i'll now doing something else see what happens see what happens it's not just falling it's still remaining vertical but then it is it is it is rotating what is the direction of this rotation from from seen from, yeah as seen from the top correct so if it is going this way uh, there should be some torque in this direction something should be there which is which is doing something okay but it's not that not that because the tension is vertically upward r cross f cannot be cannot have vertically vertical component r cross f has to be perpendicular to f f is vertical r cross f f has to be perpendicular to f must be horizontal mg downward no other force no 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 tell me the forces what are the forces on this wheel when it is rotating moving whatever what are the forces on the wheel one is this tension one is this gravity any other so 
but that was a history no no that is that doesn't mean is is not maintained once i left it i gave a torque okay that is also a good example that is also a good example it was at rest there was no angular velocity and then i did something and it picked up a velocity right zero angular velocity it picked up an angular velocity during the period i was in contact i was exerting a force tangentially during that period is picked up a velocity now let's analyze that what is the direction of that angular velocity now i had applied a force in this tangential direction okay so this is f this is r what is r cross f towards you this is r r i am applying it from here so this is r vector and my force is in this direction so this is f vector r and f r cross f towards you the torque is towards you and see that it is picking up velocity towards you right so that torque is equal to i alpha and all those things is there in this action also but what i am doing now or what i am asking after i have left now i am not applying any torque any force after i have left say at this time the only forces are by that uh, cloth which is uh, upward by gravity which is downward and none of that can give you a torque in vertical direction and so none of this can give you a rotation in horizontal plane yeah with who, who exerts that force the, the motion is not a problem is a common or proper noun is an abstract noun the forces ex are exerted by particles the forces are exerted by fields motion cannot exert a force force is exerted by string force is exerted by spring force is exerted by earth force is exerted by sun no uh, a magnet a charge force is not exerted by velocity force is not exerted by motion force is not exerted by my feelings okay all right so i'll just give a small hint and i'll close it here see when i just left it from here the angular momentum was zero to start with correct and therefore when i applied a torque which is dl by dt so dl should be equal to torque into dt right this is the equation so a change in angular momentum should be in the direction of torque correct dl vector is equal to torque vector into dt since the initial angular momentum is zero is zero no motion so that dl has to be in the direction of torque and therefore you saw that okay it, it picked up this velocity in the direction of the torque itself but when i rotate it there is or there is already an angular momentum in this direction there is already an angular momentum in this direction correct and the torque what is what was the direction of torque so dl is in this direction yes if the initial angular momentum is zero the final angular momentum that means after time dt is also in this direction but now initial angular momentum is in this direction and the change that dl is in this direction so you have l here and dl here so what is the final angular momentum after dl after time dt just turns you have l vector horizontal pointing towards that door you have dl vector pointing towards that back door dl is small why it is in this direction because torque is in this direction right see this is the force and this is the r vector so r and cross f 
so that is in this direction so dl vector is in this direction but l vector is in that direction i have already given a spin seen from this side it is anti clockwise so l is here and a small dl is here both are horizontal when you make a vector addition to find the final angular momentum after time dt you will just turn the torque torque of this force right because when i do it and i i just hang it this force is there okay this r vector is there this force is there so r cross f is there and that r cross f has a direction towards you and that if you have a torque you must have dl dl must be equal to torque into dt and they should be in the same direction dl and torque should be in the same direction so since the torque is in this direction dl is in this direction initial l was here you add this dl then you get a new l which is slightly rotated but if the angular momentum has to this way then uh, your direction should be perpendicular to that then only you have angular momentum in this direction so it keeps moving in this fashion yes. That's right, because dt is small, huh. so it slowly it's rotates. So the same is the ah, that is a good question. I am doing it that way. If what if I can do if I do it this? In the other way. But you know that it is for me. It is easier to do this this way. Now my hand, if I take it that way, I cannot exert a lot of force. Perhaps you can do that. You are on the other side. Give it a spin. As right. Right. Okay. Give a lot of spin. Ah, huh, sure. Good. Oh, sorry. One second. No, no, no. Wait, wait. Hold it here. Okay. Good. So it is rotating the other way. Your in your initial angular momentum was now this way. dl is still that way so l plus dl will go that way so it rotates how how, how? because sir he is holding it like that this is the force remember there is a force this force has a torque and once you have a torque see what is written there dl is equal to torque into dt and they are vectors so the direction of dl is same as the direction of this torque so so you see what is the direction of r cross f that is the direction of dl you see what is the initial direction of l and add the dl to that that will give you the final i'll just give an analogy before closing if i drop this if i drop this this is the velocity zero the force is in vertical direction so the final velocity is also in vertical direction but if i project it the force is vertical direction but after a time dt the velocity is not in vertical direction it only slightly turns there was a velocity that dv is still downward force is equal to dv by dt that dv is f into dt f is downward dv is downward but originally there was a horizontal v add a small dv there it just turns the final velocity is not vertical but if the initial velocity is zero yes the final velocity is also vertical that is what is exactly happening here also if the initial angular momentum is zero that dl decides the final direction of the angular momentum but if there is already an initial momentum and you are adding dl to it then you have to see how that is adding to it vectorially and then you can decide what is the direction of l by l plus dl okay thank you very much i hope i have uh, given you some qualitative feeling at least of all this rotational dynamics and the parameters which are coming into that and the details of course you will learn in your own regular classes